I'd like to invite and welcome Mr. Ram Vishwanathan, well, who is a seasoned executive strategist, serial entrepreneur, angel investor with global supply chain operations, experience in retail, customer goods, construction and telecom, big five management and consulting and software. Well, founding president of a portfolio of businesses under Nathan Research. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Ram Vishwanathan. Well, welcome to you, sir. Thank you very much, Dhani. Thank you very much. Entire shows uh, looking like, and uh, happy to share with you a little bit of what we have done here in uh, Dallas, and specifically some of the areas that I'm very close to. So I know we ran into a little, few little uh, glitches here and there. We're starting a little late. I'll try to do this in as quick a manner as possible. Um, so thanks again, everybody. Uh, I suppose uh, we are just the speakers here and then there's a separate uh, auditorium where all the attendees are uh, able to watch and uh, see what we are uh, uh, going to be talking about here. So um, I can go ahead and share the screen now. Is that fine, Sagar? Yes, sir, please go ahead. Okay. Are you all able to see the screen? All right, sounds good. So thanks again, thanks uh, for the introduction, uh, Dwani. Um, let me start out with uh, telling you all about what uh, we have been doing here in, uh, in Dallas. Um, I run the Dallas chapter of Thai, and it's been my honor and privilege to uh, be able to uh, provide a little leadership to um, uh, the you know, Dallas chapter of Thai and over the last year, in, in spite of the um, challenges that we have we had to face uh, globally, we have had a very, very interesting lineup of events. We have every uh, fourth Tuesday a pitch, a pitch event. Uh, we call it Thai Tuesday. We have more than 10 events like this, which is an opportunity for different startups to come and present their uh, ideas and projects and businesses, out of which we uh, we uh, curate certain uh, startups to uh, work with closer and uh, guide, mentor, coach, fund. And we have had about six to seven of those uh, uh, come together in the last uh, uh, eight to 10 months. So uh, we are very excited about that. We launched the Thai Women Initiative and we conducted the uh, Women's Pitch Contest. And uh, the winner from our uh, Dallas chapter is going to be representing Dallas at the Dubai event. The TYE program uh, that we are very proud of has uh, gone through its eighth year of operation. We have, over the years, graduated about 250 high school kids. This year, our team when, uh, went and uh, won at the global level uh, that we are uh, that we are very uh, gratified with. Uh, it's been a great program for us. We have uh, several industry uh, leaders come and talk to us about their knowledge and uh, um, insights into what's happening in each of the industries that we are uh, particularly close to here in Dallas, oil and gas, travel, finance, and what have you. We have uh, had a number of sessions on specific topics uh, um, on policy making, uh, mindfulness, which is a major theme of uh, the last several uh, years. And so um, we have had those kinds of sessions. Um, we've had a special focus on diversity and inclusion. We have been fortunate to be associated with some local leaders that are taking uh, active role in uh, in in this uh, particular uh, uh, initiative and uh, with the likes of uh, folks like uh, Dean Jones out of Microsoft, uh, we have um, engaged with the community, uh, present our uh, uh, our um, uh, perspectives, and uh, worked with them to uh, bring uh, that to the fore. And we also been providing leadership on the regional level for our, for Thai uh, in the southern. Uh, part of the country. So um, that has been uh, a great program for us. Uh, we have actively engaged uh, uh, the youth, considering they are our leaders uh, of tomorrow, uh, to get their perspectives on what is happening, what is changing in different uh, areas of uh, human endeavor. So um, uh, we have uh, had uh, several sessions around that. 
Um, and uh, last but not the least, our chapter got recognized as one of the most improved chapters, uh, the recent chapter award. So uh, I will just leave it at that. And uh, in terms of an overall summary of where uh, we are at, I would like uh, all of you to take um, uh, interest and participate, engage, support, and benefit from Association of the Thai Dallas. Our site is, at, uh, is uh, dallas.thai.org. So um, I encourage you to go visit and learn more about uh, us and ask us any questions you might have. Um, with that said, uh, let me switch to the topic that is very dear to my heart, which is, uh, which is uh, I'm essentially a technologist, an entrepreneur, of, uh, uh, have a portfolio of technology businesses, all at the intersection of uh, retail, supply chain, um, and um, um, uh, technology. So um, uh, we have, over the years, uh, bootstrap built and grown a portfolio of technology firms that addresses opportunities in this cross-section of uh, um, areas of uh, uh, um, uh, domain, domain uh, areas and interest. Uh, if you look at retail, um, if you look at the evolution of where it has gone uh, over the last couple of decades, uh, when online came in, uh, with the starting with books and then went to clothes and we started looking at groceries and uh, uh, every category got addressed. And we would ask, why not, why not services? By services, I mean things that happen in and around the home and elsewhere that brings together products and uh, uh, activity, labor, that makes an uh, 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 entire uh, um, solution possible. An example is uh, remodeling, construction, um, other such services. So uh, specifically, we have done a lot of work in the area of uh, coordinating, optimizing um, uh, uh, product flow, material flow, and labor flow to make those kinds of projects possible in a most efficient manner, cost-effective manner, and in a technologically advanced manner. So if you look uh, uh, for a home improvement, let's say a kitchen remodel, for example, uh, if you look at the various steps involved, it involves conceptualization, imagining what a new kitchen might look like, designing that particular kitchen, um, selecting the kind of products you need to put into that kitchen, measuring the dimensions of various things that need to go in the kitchen. How do you code a project like that? And then finally, the actual installation fulfillment of a project like that. So if you look at that full flow that I've shown on the bottom here, it begs to uh, the question, why can't all those activities be done completely virtually? Conceptualization, design, product selection, measurement, coating. Of course, uh, the final fulfillment and installation cannot be done uh, uh, remotely. You would, uh, you would obviously have to have uh, um, people and machinery at the site to get this done, but there's no reason why all of these things cannot be done virtually. And that's the kind of reality that we are uh, marching towards and uh, we are playing a small role in that vision uh, enablement to be able to virtually uh, conceptualize design a project, uh, being able to sell, uh, do, doing, uh, being able to do online consultation, being able to virtually sell, uh, um, remotely sell a project, being able to take measurements, all of that. So there are various technologies at play that make this possible. And I, eventually, when the uh, fast forward, eventually we might have a situation in a, in a decade or so where you would have robots coming and perhaps building a countertop, building a cabinet, but let's save that for later. At least this first section, one, two, three, four, five uh, 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 steps can um, done, be done remotely. That has been our hypothesis. That is a, a vision we are headed towards and we have a number of tools and techniques that uh, make that possible. So let's take a look at what has happened in the last year or so. Increasingly, we are seeing greater use of the home, more functional workspaces in home offices, perhaps in the kitchen, uh, living room, and there is higher spend on home improvements. There is more technology at play. Smarter homes are here to stay. So uh, there is a little uh, description of how the various demographics are dealing with it. Uh, start millennials, people just, just starting out, people that have been in their home for a number of uh, years and decades, mature families and so on. So it, suffice it to say, there's a lot of effort going into uh, making home the central place um, around which not just your um, uh, life, in general, life, but even your work centers around. So 
um, uh, I'll be belaboring the point if I uh, quote more statistics on this uh, note, but uh, I think you all get the point of how important this has become, this phenomenon. So um, let's take a uh, let's uh, take a slight uh, um, digression in terms of what all is happening in retail uh, overall, in terms of digital experiences, storefronts, delivery models. So when you if you look at retail, essentially it's having a set of products and making it available at the point of consumption. So making these two meet is ha what ha uh, happens in retail. So there is an initial touch point, uh, select, uh, selecting a product, searching for a product, selecting a product, and having that product be delivered. So if you look at each of these segments, these, uh, these uh, activities can happen uh, physical in brick and mortar fashion or in an online fashion. So there's infinite number of combinations how these things uh, come about. So we have, we have seen a lot of smart stores and uh, um, uh, stores that you can walk into and walk out of uh, without uh, even seeing a cashier. I, you probably have uh, seen Amazon Go um, uh, uh, concept where basically they've done away with the cashier. Um, there are uh, uh, places, I'm sorry, is there a question? Sorry, sir. Hello? Sandra, could you please mute yourself? I'll keep going, I guess. Yes, sir. Um, so there are a number of different models I can I can talk about, but uh, you're all familiar with various different ways we are uh, as consumers are experiencing some of the physical products that we touch and feel and 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 consume. From a delivery model standpoint, from the time the product is made to the time it goes to the distribution centers to the time it gets get delivered to the last mile, there is lots of different uh, permutations combinations constantly shifting depending on the product category and what have you, and the economics also. Uh, keeps uh, adjusting to make the whole uh, uh, the phenomenon of making product available, making service available in as cost-effective and feasible manner as possible. So back to what I was talking about in terms of the remodeling um, uh, industry, the ecosystem. If you look at the ecosystem, there is a there is a variety of different uh, players involved: the designers, architects, decorators. Uh, remodelers, uh, builders, material suppliers, contracting firms, they all are coming together in making the homeowner uh, bring his vision to reality. And uh, in, a, in a very quick sense, if you want to see the overall size of the industry, it's, 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 it runs on trillions of dollars. Uh, there is retail service hubs that have the brand name, that have the expertise, that have the knowledge to be able to uh, define, envision, and projects for homeowners. And then there are service providers, regional, some regional, some national, and differs from country to country. These things uh, work differently, but they work with these retail service hubs to enable these kinds of services. Then there are installation companies, there are part suppliers, all of whom come together in bringing that vision to reality for the homeowner. Some of them directly interact uh, some of these entities directly interact with the homeowner, some of them interact, interact indirectly, but how are we slice and dice it? Suffice it to say, it's a, it's a huge industry, uh, parts uh, supp uh, supplies itself is hundreds of billions, retail uh, service hubs are another hundreds of billions. So uh, innovation and efficiency and transformation is inevitable to happen just like any other industry. So, um, if you look at some of the um, uh, uh, studies that are being conducted, uh, what it tells us there's gonna be continued momentum, bullishness and buoyancy in the remodeling industry. As this chart shows, it has been on a steady uptick. It is predicted to reach uh, about a half a billion, half a trillion dollars in the year 2023. Uh, and this is just remodeling. I'm not even talking about construction as a whole, but just in remodel spending. So, uh, uh, let us let us get very specific. How do technologies uh, play a role? Um, number of ways, number of ways. Um, enabling the whole ecosystem to function well, uh, bringing all these entities together, um, uh, being able to employ virtual reality, augmented reality, AI, um, uh, voice applications, things of that kind. So I'll just give you a very simple uh, example here of how 
as a consumer, you can actually redesign your kitchen uh, as it's shown here on the top left. I'll click on this, it'll go to a, to a site here, that is uh, our site, that tells you uh, how you can redesign a kitchen in a matter of uh, seconds. So basically, you are, uh, one second. Okay, as you can see, it's, it's moving a little slowly because of the bandwidth and all that, but uh, essentially you're able to uh, take a picture, upload it, and then have your design come real in front of you uh, in just a matter of seconds. Now, in the past, you used to be able to do this by uh, sending a picture, having some designer work on it, come back with uh, concepts and uh, ideas and have you critique it and go back and forth. Today, you can do this real time, and that's the beauty of this. So um, I would encourage you to go to our site and either download it uh, as an app if you have an iPhone or go to our website and uh, just uh, in a matter of a few seconds, set up an account and see how you can upload the picture of your own kitchen and uh, um, select which areas you want to change and uh, be able to see a new kitchen take uh, shape in front of your eyes. So this is a very simple little example of things that are possible uh, in, 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 in technology today. What is behind, uh, what is happening behind? There is AI that is able to, in real time, detect what kinds of areas these are. Is there a countertop? Is there a ca cabinet? Is there a flooring here? And if there are these areas, where are they? And so I can show it to the user and then ask the user, what do you want to do with it now? Do you want to change the countertop from this current white color to a brown color or a cabinet from a dark color to a light color and so on and so forth. So this can happen real time. So drastically reduce the time frame involved in visioning, designing, and, and uh, having this be delivered to an architect, um, uh, um, a contractor to get take it to the next level. And oh, by the way, there is also technology to be able to tell you precisely what the measurements are of a particular kitchen. Again, this would have been unthinkable a few years ago, but now it is possible. I can point uh, to my countertop and say, what, ask, ask the app what, my, what the dimensions are, and it will tell you. Uh, using depth perception, this is a 10 feet by three feet countertop. So these kinds of possibilities exist today. So I just wanted to give you a little snippet of how that might look like, and uh, I'll show you, um, uh, a couple of other things in terms of the uh, scenarios that are possible. You can also uh, augment reality, and this is where mixed reality comes in, where you can mix and match products from uh, a catalog and have it uh, be brought into your scene. Uh, I'll play this in high speed so that uh, you don't have to be pressed for time here. So as you can see, you can bring up, bring up items from a different... Uh, uh, scene uh, from a catalog on the right into the scene and see how you can redesign spaces in a matter of uh, seconds. So things like this are possible um, with, with technology today. Um, the entire platform uh, allows both consumers, homeowners, as well as remodeling companies go through the sequence of presenting, visualizing, measuring, quoting a project, and then finally fulfilling it by sending material orders to a variety of different suppliers, having labor scheduled, and then completing the project. So immense level of possibilities. And uh, I won't go into some of the other details related to how voice can be integrated. Um, these kinds of apps are also such that you can actually talk to that, talk to the app, give instructions, and have um, actions be taken based on that kind of uh, 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 interaction. So. As far as the tech market is concerned, there are there is platform players, there are niche players, and of course, we like to think we are playing a role in this uh, in terms of one of my portfolio companies, Remap, um, in terms of the kinds of innovation and uh, uh, transformation that's happening, but there's a number of other players also. There is also opportunity in the space that uh, lends um, uh, itself to investors and entrepreneurs alike to see what can be done you have to think, uh, why can't uh, a major shift happen in this industry, just like other industries? That's what I listed here in terms of 
big, hairy, audacious, audacious goals in terms of a platform, end-to-end -end platform uh, that does from soup to nuts for remodeling, a marketplace. Why can't there be an Amazon for construction materials for that matter? Visualization, we have uh, uh, Instagram for uh, uh, as a playground, but why can't we use that for uh, something much more practical and relevant as home decor? So these are some, some ideas, some uh, things that uh, come to mind in terms of uh, opportunities that exist. In addition to that, there are point solutions, specific areas within this entire pipeline we talked about, design, measure, fulfillment, are all possible to be addressed by specific individual point solutions. Um, are there challenges? By, by all means, yes, there is, there's a number of challenges, but you know what, we don't, we don't really deal with all the challenges uh, uh, as an entrepreneur. We have a bullish attitude, we go and look at what, is, what seems to be impossible and try to make it possible. So, um, with the amount of time that has been available to us, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what all uh, we see in this particular industry. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, stop at that and open the uh, floor for any questions uh, people might have. And uh, in, for the sake of uh, uh, speed, especially because we're running late, uh, I'll uh, wrap up a little early and uh, give the opportunity for the next uh, segment, which is also part of the Dallas uh, lineup of um, uh, speaking segments that uh, we're getting ready for. Dwani, Shyam, are you all there? So, yes, we are here. In case if uh, my audiences, in case if you have any questions. I'm sorry. Uh... Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in case you have any question, you can please send it across to us. Hello? Not able to yes, hear sir. you. Dwani, not able to hear you. You're not able to hear me. I can hear you. Uh, are others able to hear you? Am I audible? I, uh, can you speak, Dwani? Uh, am I audible? Yeah. No, sir. Yeah, yeah. You're... Now I am. Okay. All right. Uh, this is for uh, everyone who's watching us. In case you have any questions, you can uh, please go ahead and uh, send it across to us, maybe on a chat box. I guess that's where you're supposed to send the questions. So, so I'm just going to wait. Let's see in case if there are any questions. If not, we will quickly move on with the next uh, topic here. So uh, le let's give it about five to 10 seconds more. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, very, very interesting insights here. In case if you still have any more questions, you can please go ahead and ask us. As you know, this is one platform where I did mention that all your questions will definitely be answered. And this is a, per a perfect opportunity here. So you've got the global leaders right with us. So if anything in your mind, please go ahead and ask. Well, trust me, all the experiences and challenges that our global leaders face, you would not be able to get it anywhere. No Google can actually explain that. This is the right place. You can ask your questions and uh, get those questions answered live. I believe, sir, we're not really getting any questions here. So thank you once again very, very much. That was really insightful and a very interesting presentation here. Mr. Ram Vishwanathan, thank you for joining us all the way from Dallas. Thank you, thank you, Ganit. Thank you, everybody. I can't